Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're coming across an error on your computer versus that your computer is low on memory and perhaps you're noticing that your games are freezing or crashing often and this may go for other applications such as Microsoft Office, your web browsers like Google Chrome or Firefox for example and you're getting this consistent pop-up that says that your computer is low on memory. This tutorial is being performed on Windows 11, but will apply for earlier versions of Windows as well, such as Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is start by opening up the search menu. So just go ahead and search into the search menu for advanced system settings. Best results should come back with view advanced system settings. Go ahead and open that up. You want to select the advanced tab, which it should automatically take you to here. And then underneath performance, visual effects, processor scheduling, memory usage, and virtual memory, select the settings button. Now you want to select the advanced tab. And then underneath virtual memory, a paging file is an area on the hard disk that Windows uses as if it were RAM. Select the change button. Uncheck where it says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Select custom size and type the initial and maximum size in here. The same value this is recommended, so just go ahead and type in whatever your number may be. So again, make sure you type in exactly whatever it says recommended is. And once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and select the set button and then select OK. You want to need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect, but we're going to do one further thing before we restart. So select OK. Now, if you're running Windows 11 Professional or Windows 10 Professional or higher, or any version of Windows 7, you can go run the Group Policy Editor. So that's what we're going to go with next. So if you have that option, open up the search menu, type in Group Policy. Best results should go back with Edit Group Policy. Go ahead and open that up. Let's make this window a little bit wider here. And you want to expand underneath Computer Configuration. You want to double click on the Administrative Templates folder. And then do the same thing now for the System folder. So you can just double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it. Now you want to go down until you get to something that says Troubleshoot and Diagnostics. So just go down and double click on that. And then finally there should be a folder in here that says Windows Resource Exhaustion Detection and Resolution. So I'm going to just make this column a little wider here again. So again, Windows Resource Exhaustion Detection and Resolution. And just left click on it one time. And on the right side there should be something that says Configure Scenario Execution Level. Double click on that. And now we're going to go ahead and set this to Disabled. So go ahead and just disable it. And then select Apply and OK. Now close out of here and restart your computer. And hopefully I was able to resolve your problem and hopefully your low memory issues should be resolved. You can always attempt to actually upgrade your RAM. You might actually need some additional physical RAM on your computer. So, you know, these are going to be software workarounds that we cover in a lot of these type of tutorials. But if you really want to get a true performance enhancement, you probably want to actually upgrade your computer if that's possible. Or you can also upgrade the RAM, which is a cheaper alternative. But again, you know, I'm just showing you guys, you know, we're working with what we got here. So that's what the purpose of today's tutorial was. So like I said, do a positive to help you guys out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.